Hello class, uh, Mr. Delgado here. Um, Going to help you with the homework on simple and complete um, subjects and predicates. So um, here's a few samples um, to work with. Okay, so first what you're going to do, put in bold the complete subject. And then we're going to um, highlight the simple subject. And then we're going to underline the complete predicate, and we're going to highlight the simple predicate. So let's start with the subject first. Okay, um, my three-legged cat jumped onto the couch. So the subject in this sentence uh, is my three-legged cat, the complete subject. So I'm going to put all of that in bold like this. And then I'm going to highlight the simple subject. So um, the simple subject would be cat. Now, the my three-legged is what describes the cat. So it's not the actual subject. So the actual subject is the noun in the simple subject. So I'm going to highlight that. And I believe we chose the color of light yellow for the subject. Now let's look at the predicate, which is what the subject did. So what did the subject do? It jumped onto the couch. So that's the complete predicate. So I'm going to underline the complete predicate. So you select it and then select underline. And then we're going to highlight the simple predicate, which would just be the verb that the subject does, and that would be jumped. So I'm going to highlight, and I'm going to pick pink for that one. So that's what the first sentence should look like. Now let's take a look at the next sentence. Megan is playing NBA 2K this weekend. So I'm going to, the subject here would be Megan. I'm going to put that in bold type. Now, since Megan, even though it's the complete subject, it is also the only word as the complete subject. And it is also going to be our simple subject. So I'm going to highlight it. Yep. The complete predicate is, is playing NBA 2K this weekend. That's the complete predicate. Now is, believe it or not, that is a verb. And it usually goes in conjunction with another verb attached to it. So is playing is going to be the simple predicate. All right, let's take a look at the next sentence. Devin, Lauren, and Megan are all in college, are all now in college. All right, let's see. So the complete subject is going to be Devin, Lauren, and Megan. And we're going to talk about this in future lessons. That's called a compound subject. So we're going to put the complete subject in bold, and we're going to highlight the simple subject. Now, there is more than one simple subject. That's why it's called a compound subject. So we have Devin, which is a simple subject. Lauren is a simple subject. And Megan is a simple subject. And then the complete predicate is are all in college. Now are is a verb. Are is a plural form of is, which is also a verb. So um, we're going to underline the complete predicate. And are is the simple predicate. 
and that's what that's how that sentence should look okay on to number four I went to bed early so the only subject here is I Put that in bold that's the complete subject and it's also the simple subject so I'm going to go ahead and highlight it and then the verb here is went so the predicate usually always begins with that verb uh, the, the complete predicate so went to bed early is the complete predicate so I underline it I'm going to highlight the simple predicate which is the verb only the verb so I'm going to highlight it and that's the way that one should go all right one more example the eager student was raising her hand okay so the complete subject is going to be the eager student um, and so I'm going to put that all in bold the simple subject is going to be just student so I'm going to highlight that the complete predicate is was raising her hand so that's the complete predicate was raising is going to be the simple predicate which that's just the verb right there was raising so I'm going to highlight that pink but one more thing I wanted to point out here in the subject the simple subject is always going to be a noun now the simple subject I also wanted you to notice is always located in the complete subject so if you notice in the first sentence here my three-legged cat jumped onto the couch there's another noun over here it's couch right but couch is not a subject so it, it should not be highlighted couch is part of the predicate you can see the complete predicate continues from the verb all the way to the end here um, remember that the the subject contains and the simple subject is who or what the sentence is about it's the thing that's doing something in the sentence so if, for example it's the cat that jumped onto the couch the couch did not jump on the cat so that's why the couch is not the subject um, so just to be clear about that um, in the second example the noun here this noun is the subject and Megan is playing NBA 2k this weekend it's not NBA 2k that's not the subject so we're not going to highlight that even though it's a it is a noun it's still not the subject um, NBA 2K is not playing Megan. It's Megan playing NBA 2K. Um, and that's it. I hope this helps.